Hi, my name is Michael, and this is my new friend Roxy. We just met. She's from the Walking Humane Society. She's up for adoption. She's got a lot of energy. She's a little bit bouncy, and she doesn't really have too many manners just yet. Part of why we've been walking her on a chain leash is because she keeps biting at the leash, and then she gets really worked up and bites at people. Not bites hard, but nips at them. What I'm going to do today is working on teaching her how to sit, and then teaching her how to not bite on her leash and to sit instead. To start with, I'm going to make sure that I've got something <laughs> really yummy and stinky. And for dogs, stinky is good. I'm going to let her get involved with it first. I'm just going to kind of let her smell it and make sure that she's got it in her mouth and nose and she wants it. But I'm not really going to let her have it. And then I'm going to lift it up over her head and that's going to cause her butt to come out of the ground. When that happens, I'm going to mark it with my voice. I'm going to say, yes, we're good. Good. But I'm going to feed her from below her nose. If I feed her from above her nose, that's kind of a way of teaching her how to jump up or why to jump up. Get her involved with it, step over her nose. Good! Then I'm going to feed her right away. Then I'm going to do it again and again. Good! You might notice I'm not saying anything yet. That's because I don't want to name this behavior that's not quite right. Good! I don't want to start to name the behavior until I'm getting just what I want. Good. Good. Now I'm starting to get what I want, so I'm going to start to name it. I'm going to say a name. Roxy! Sit. Good. Roxy! Sit. Good. Roxy, sit. Good. Roxy, sit. Good. Notice I keep feeding her from below her mouth. If I feed her from up here, see how she jumps up? Roxy, sit. Good. I'm going to keep feeding her from below. Roxy, sit. Good. Now that I've gotten it about five or ten times in a row without any mistakes, I'm going to start. Roxy, sit. Good. I'm going to start not using the food in my hand. Roxy, sit. Good. Roxy, sit. Good. Roxy, sit. Good. Notice I didn't repeat myself. If I repeat myself, she'll start to learn that she only has to sit after I sit a bunch of times. So I'm just going to say it the one time. Roxy, sit. Good. Dogs learn more from body language than from words. So she's, the hand signal is more important than the word. Roxy, sit. Good. Now that I've got a basic sit behavior, I want to start working with her not biting on her leash. To do this, I'm going to have to use a cloth leash. Part of why she's not biting on the metal leash is that it hurts her, and I don't want her to hurt herself, and I don't want her to hurt her. I'm going to attach it to this front clipping harness, but to her collar at the same time, that helps keep the harness in the right place. Now what I'm going to do is with food in my hand, I'm going to start getting her to follow the food in my hand, just like that. I'm not really too worried yet if she's in front of me or on the side. I just want her to follow me. Now that I'm getting her to follow me, I'm going to move my hand this way with my palm towards her. Now that my palm is toward her, she's still following the food, but she's closer to the position I want her to be. and. I can bring her around at my side and do a quick sit at my side like that. Good. Let me do it again. Good. Roxy, sit. Good. Roxy, sit. Good. Roxy, sit. Good. Now I'm going to start working without the food in my hand, but I'm going to have it ready to go. She gets out in front of me. I'm not going to yank her on her. I'm just going to gently change direction. Roxy, sit. Good. With me now. Good. Roxy, over here. Notice I'm not using the leash to move her. I'm using my voice and my body. Good. And food. Good dog. Yeah. That's nice. The leash is my backup plan. If I yank on the leash, this will teach her 
Roxy, I'm here. The leash is something bad. Good. Sit. Good. She just started to bite on the leash a little bit. Usually dogs start doing that because they've been yanked on the leash too much. Roxy, sit. Roxy, sit. Good. So what I'm going to do now is start moving around with her, start walking her around, and if she stops and starts to bite on the leash, I'm going to immediately stop and have her SIT. Roxy, with me. But while we're moving around, one of my chief goals is to not have it start. To achieve that, I'm going to keep it loose at all times. I've got food in my hand. Roxy, with me now. Let's go over here. Good. Back and forth. Into that sit. Good. Roxy, sit. Good. When she does something that I don't like, I'm going to ask her to do something that I do like that she can't do while she's doing the thing I don't like. That's a complicated way of explaining it. When she does what I don't like, sit. Roxy, sit. Watch. Good. When she goes for the leash, I'm going to do something else. If I start to feel like she's going for the leash repeatedly in order to get me to tell her to sit so I can reward that, I'm going to have her do several things in a row. Roxy, sit. Roxy, sit. Good dog. She doesn't know it down yet, but I'm just going to have her do it anyway. Good dog. We can also try using a toy to give her. Over here, Roxy. Good. All right, now with me. Roxy, this way. Good. Yes. Good. By getting her involved with something that she's allowed to bite on, she won't feel such a need to bite on her leash. Good dog. Good. Good boy. Good girl. Good dog. Yeah. Good. All right, you ready? We're going to go for a little walk. Let's go. With me now. Roxy, you with me? Back and forth, nice and easy. I'm going to reward her often so she never feels like she has to go for that leash to get a reward. And as I reward her, I'm going to make sure that she's receiving the reward right where I want her to be. I want her to be at my side, that's where she's going to get her treat. Good. Over here, she's starting to learn that there's a way to get what she wants, which is attention and Roxy, love and food. It's not jumping up, it's not biting. Roxy, over here. All she's got to do is walk with me. That's good dog, yeah. Good. With me now. Yeah, that's nice. Over here. Good, Roxy. Good dog. Back this way. Good girl. Good. Over here. That's good. Roxy, sit. Good dog. Sit. Good dog. She's got different ways now that she can get what she wants, attention and food. One is, she's at my side, I'm likely to feed her. Another is, if she sits, I'm likely to feed her. So now, when we stop, my hope is, good dog, that she'll offer me that sit. That's nice, over here. I'm not too concerned right now, is she walking exactly at my side? Is she walking on my left or my right? Mostly I'm concerned about, this is great. This is exactly what we wanted to see from her. Roxy, sit. Good. Down. Good dog. The reason that I wanted to see this so we can show how we deal with it, we redirect her to something else. Good. If I get worked up and start yelling at her, what will she do? She'll get worked up and start yelling at me. Dogs don't really yell, but they tend to bark and nip and snap and get upset. I don't want to upset her. I want to calm her down. Good 
dog, yeah, that's nice. One nice way to calm down a dog is give them a little massage right here on their chest. This is a place that most dogs really enjoy being touched, but very few dogs can touch themselves. It's the top of their sternum. Feels like a little pyramid right there. I like to do this kind of motion. Very nice. Good. Nice and calm. Yeah. Once she's calm, we'll try again. I was getting a little excited about how well she was doing. I think she might have picked up on it. All right, now let's walk back and forth. Nice and easy. Good dog. Over here. Very good. Good. You alright? Can you walk with me please? Sit. Oh, good dog. Okay, that's really good for now. Thanks everybody.